At 7,000 feet along the Magic Mile chairlift, there's still plenty of snow for almost late June. But this group is more interested about the science up here and not the freshly carved slopes. This research is motivated by NASA's Moon to Mars objectives and kind of future work that is putting robots and humans on the moon and then eventually Mars together. Christina Wilson is an assistant professor at Oregon State University in the Collaborative Robotics and Intelligent System Institute. She's been working on this project for the last two years with other universities from around the country, including USC, Georgia, and the biggest of them all, NASA. And as you guessed it, the research name comes with a very big acronym. The LASI project stands for Legged Autonomous Surface Science in Analog Environments, and the legs in that are the uh, come from the Spirit robot. This is Spirit, the four-legged robot that resembles a dog, is helping this team get back to the moon. There's a reason why researchers chose Mount Hood for this project. The big one is the terrain. Of course, the rock, the dirt, the sand, and the snow and ice will give the robot an idea of what the conditions could be like on the moon. And that data is actually interesting to scientists. It tells us things about sort of the composition of the surface that the robot is walking over. It gives us an analog where we have the same types of uh, rocks. Kenton Fisher is a space scientist with NASA. At NASA, we're often looking at ways to uh, adapt the engineering developments that are going on, things like rovers or robotic dogs, and use them for science applications. He's hoping the information they get down on Earth will lead to more discoveries in outer space. So the more we can pull out of engineering data for science applications, the better. And so that was what really drew me into this project initially. Even though he knows there will be a few missteps before that can happen. Now, David and Christine, I spoke with the researchers earlier this afternoon. I asked them, so when we could potentially see uh, this project land on the moon with the astronauts and Spirit, and they told me it could be as soon as around the less than five years or so. So right around the corner, hopefully. Back to you guys. Yeah, interesting stuff. The clock is ticking starting now. Okay, thank you, Joe.